For every Dallas Maverick home game victory this season, head coach Jason Kidd announced he will make a $500 donation to support youth education and after-school programs for underserved communities across North Texas. Fans can also join Kidd and donate by visiting Mavs.com slash Kidd. We started that last year and the team took off. Uh, we raised a lot of money for the community. Um, and so we look forward to doing it again and uh, raising a lot of money. It's always good to be able to help the community here in Dallas. Welcome back to the show. Kid is making an impact on and off the court. And as Kid started his sophomore season, there are a few new faces that joined his staff. Paige Norbach has more on one of the new assistant coaches. One of the new faces on the Mavs bench this year is assistant coach Marco Millick, although it's not a new face to everyone. After starting his basketball career overseas, Milik, who's the first Slovenian player in the NBA, was taken in the second round of the 1997 draft by the 76ers before immediately being traded to the Phoenix Suns. And do you know who else was there? Fourth-year guard Jason Kidd. After a short stint in Phoenix, Milik returned overseas, where he had success across multiple teams. And it was there that he kick-started his coaching career before eventually meeting a young player named Luka Doncic. Now, a quarter century later, after his draft and meeting Hall of Fame guard Jason Kidd, Millick's been added to the staff, not just for his knowledge of the game, but to give our superstar a little taste of home. Uh, I was playing with his father when, when he was growing up, and we were always hanging, hanging out together. He was always with, with us on the court when he was younger. When he was younger, he was cheering for us. Later, he became so, so good and so strong that he was much better than all of us, so we started cheering for him, and it's, it's all this connection, let's say, friends, family. So I'm really happy to have this chance that uh, Luca connect Dallas with Slovenia, even uh, coaches. Uh, from, from males that come in, in the summer, spend some time with us, with the national team, so I'm very happy for this connection. Milik, more than anyone, appreciates these relationships since he spent his time in the NBA as the only Slovenian in the league and one of the few players from Europe. Yeah, from the beginning it was not easy because the game was not not so global. Uh, NBA was so much higher than all the other leagues that it was just, uh, in my time, just five, six players from outside of America playing in NBA. Right now it's all, it, NBA become a global game and it's uh, it's much easier. It's more, more international and uh, I'm very happy that after 25 years I'm back in a different role. While this isn't his first year as a coach, it's his first year to coach in the NBA. But transitions aren't new to Milik, having already made difficult transitions before. Four. It was from the beginning not easy, but later it's uh, similar stuff on the court. I, I stay uh, close, connected to the court. I didn't have a lot of years in between uh, to think a, little, a lot, but now I'm, I'm very happy with this new role. And uh, uh, especially here in Dallas, they keep us a lot on the court. So sometimes I feel like a player because we need to spar with some other players and it's, it's cool. Sometimes I still look uh, maybe uh, too emotionally, but... Uh, then I, then I scout the game one or two two hours after, so when emotions come down a little bit and then I, I can see, let's say, more realistic picture than uh, in a moment when you, when you react like a player. While his time in the NBA was short-lived, Milik had the opportunity to share the court with one of the best to do it in Jason Kidd, which makes their reunion here in Dallas even more surreal. For me, he was an unbelievable player. He was prototype, like Luca, like Luca now. I came from Europe, point guards used to be just, uh, let's say, uh, dribblers or passers, or maybe sometimes shooters. Here, Jason was rebounding, he was passing the ball, he was pressing, he was doing triple doubles, uh, he was posting up people uh, on a point guard position. I never see somebody like that doing before, so he was, for me, one of the best players in that time when I was playing two years with him in Phoenix. It's very fun, yeah, to get this chance now to be coaching. Uh, he's a big personality, uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, a lot of freedom to his uh, fellow assistant coaches, so we can we can say our own opinion. Then, of course, he's the boss, he chooses what is good and what not, and and that's why they also have a good result lately. It has inevitably been a big change for the former Slovenian national coach. And while not everyone was a stranger on arrival, the rest of the Mavericks roster has made him feel like part of the team. I was little uh, because of coming to, to the other city, to the other team where everybody's like, let's say, already together after coming after winning season like, like last year. Uh, I was afraid how I'm going to become part of that of them. But after two, three days, uh, they accept me and they treat me like one of them, like a friend. So this was my, my best experience, let, let's say, on this uh, on this human side, outside, outside of the basketball court. 
Thanks, Paige. Well, we cover some really hard-hitting journalism here on Mavs Insider, including this week's Players' Take, where we ask the Mavs roster simple questions and get their take. This week, it was, in what order do you brush your teeth? Really random, but we promise you'll be entertained. When I brush my teeth, I do uh, water, paste, water. Water, paste, water again, and then brush my teeth. Water, paste, water, rinse, then go ahead. <laughs> Why the hell are you ask me that? Paste, water. Paste, water. Is that weird? Two face, water, brush. Oh, water, paste, water. Water. You usually do water, paste? Gotta be water, paste, then water again. I go water, paste, water. When I brush my teeth, I go... When I brush my teeth, I, I kind of like being active. Water the brush, put the paste on, water it again, then brush. Toothbrush, paste, and water. That's my order, toothpaste and water. When I brush my teeth, so it's water on the brush, got to like get it ready. Then you put the toothpaste, and then just a little bit more water, just to make sure that it feels welcome. And then we get it done. Just paste. That's definitely weird. That's that, that's a little off, actually. <laughs> Max is a weird dude, though. Like that. That's honestly like, if you'd have said anybody else, I probably would have had a, a bigger reaction. But you said Max, I was kind of like, yeah, well, you know, it's Max. I don't know. It's just I don't know why, but I like it.